You know, a lot of people that are Teddy Zane fans, Teddy Zane lovers, they keep saying he has the bigger YouTube channel. And they're coming up with this uh, concept <laughs> because he'll get more views on one single video than I will from like, let, let's just take one of my videos of my many, many videos I pump out a day. So let's just say that particular video gets 100 views and then Teddy will pump out a video and he'll get 5,000 views or Teddy will do a live stream and there'll be whatever, a couple of thousand people listening or whatever and I'll do a live stream and it'll be 100 people listening. So this is their, you know, basically concept of why Teddy Zane's YouTube channel is bigger than mine. But the reality is I have more total views than Teddy. Like millions more, like probably 2 million plus more views. So I just don't understand why this is not like rocket science. This is not algebra. This is not trigonometry. <laughs> you don't have to be Albert Einstein or Sigmund Freud or a rocket scientist to figure this out. I have more views, just like Lou has more views than me. So it's like, look. Lou has a bigger YouTube channel than me. I'm accepting it. I'm not delusional. Lou has like 60 plus million more views than me. That makes him the bigger YouTuber. I have more views than Teddy. So I'm a bigger YouTuber than Teddy. That's the bottom line. Now, look, in all fairness, look, I might have more money than Teddy Zane, okay? But I don't, I don't feel that I have the right to compete against him and I'll tell you the reason why. A lot of the money that I have, that I control, you know, is in trust for my children and I control it though, but it's in trust for my, my, my children. That's over $500,000 now. I have another account that has 75,000. I have about 250,000 in gold. Um, I have a very large amount of AMC shares. I don't really wanna go there though. But let's just say it's much more than I previously had. We'll leave it at that. Um, I probably have more money than Teddy. You know, can I go out and buy a new Corvette? Yes, I can't fit in it. I wouldn't be able to fit in it. But that would re require me to, I would either, I would have to sell my gold. And I don't understand like what that's stupid. You know, a car depreciates in value. It's, it's not an asset that makes money. It's a luxury. Okay, or I would have to take money then out of my $75,000 account, which I have put aside for real estate. So I, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to touch my children's money, right? So I can't do that. You know, it's a trust. So the thing is, I think overall, Teddy is a success story and a much bigger success story than me because he did it himself. So a lot of the stuff I did, you know, came from my father, certain things. Um, but other than that, I did work very hard in my life as well. And I earned a lot of money working in sales. So Teddy, though, did it all himself. And I respect, I really do have, I break his balls a lot, but I really, really do have a lot of respect for him. I do. And I always commended him in the past. I said, he's a successful entrepreneur. He's a successful, you know, just everything, investor, you know, and he's got, you know, he really has a lot of power and determination. I just, I think what it is, I just don't like the fact of how he keeps selling AMC, day trades AMC, and he really just convinces a lot of people who were apes that were holding AMC to just give up on it. And then he posts this message today that AMC, you know, Amy stole 6,000 from him, but it's like you're day trading it, Teddy, you know, that's, when you keep day trading AMC, you're gonna get burnt. That's just the way it goes, man. You know, you're not holding it. Holding it is no stress. So that's the only look. If if you know, you know, if Teddy would just day trade other stocks and not AMC, man, I wouldn't have a I would honestly not have a single bad word to say about the dude. I really wouldn't. I would I would wish him all the best of success. I hope he would make a billion dollars day trading. I really would. But it's just that he has to be this stubborn guy who has to day trade AMC. And AMC is my baby. It's like that song, you know. Be my little baby. Be my little darling. Oh, 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 oh. 
Take me home tonight. You know, Eddie Bunny. It's just, why do you, leave AMC alone. Leave Amy alone, Teddy. Just leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You got so many other choices, right? You got this big stock uh, tomorrow, uh, M E G L, right? Why do you have to mess with AMC for? Just leave leave Amy alone. You know, he's calling her a skank. She she stole six thousand from him. Well, you're day trading that skank, brother. And when you're and when you're playing with skanks, there are repercussions. You know, those little tiny raisin balls of yours can get green. <laughs> So you should probably stay away from Skaggs, right? But no, no, seriously. I I really, I break his bowls. I think he's a very successful guy. He did it all himself. I will always have respect for him. He knows I'm breaking his bowls. I wish him the best. I want him to make a ton of money. But bottom line, I have a bigger YouTube channel than him. That, that, listen, money-wise, he's probably, you got to you gotta give him the, the credit because he did it all himself. He did everything himself. And... I think that ultimately he's the bigger success story to me right now. But I will say this. I will say this, though. When AMC Moaz is, <laughs> okay, and Teddy is day trading it, he might miss the Moaz. And if he misses the Moaz, well, then I will be much richer than Teddy. Okay, so when you play with fire, you get burnt. With that said, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. And I am the bigger YouTuber than Teddy's name. Eight Father's the bigger YouTuber.